Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you all my top 10 favourite Amazon products. I saw Tony Sevdalis, I think that's how you say her name, do this video. I don't feel like people share a lot of their Amazon purchases in the past before this video trend started. Just purely I think because Amazon purchases can be really random. When I was searching through my history I was just amazed at all the random stuff that I had bought. And the great thing about Amazon is Amazon Prime. If you don't have it, I seriously recommend it. Not only do they have videos, but the next day delivery is a lifesaver. And sometimes they even do same day delivery, depending on how early you order it. So, in my opinion, totally worth it. I love everything I'm about to show you, so I hope that you enjoy and maybe it'll give you some ideas. The first item I'm gonna talk about is the HP Sprocket. It's the size of my palm. If you don't know what it is, it's similar to... Its competitor is the Polaroid Zip. I did compare them on, like, when I researched online and this was slightly better, so I just went for that and it was a little bit cheaper, I think, as well. It's a little printer. The reason I got this is for my mum's scrapbook that she's got for Poppy. It's like a baby's first, but for dogs. I think I also got that on Amazon, so if I did, I will link it down below. I thought it would be a good idea to quickly print off pictures from our phones that we took of Poppy and put them in the book. So, I really like it. I'll show you inside. The pictures are just that size, and I can't remember what way up it's going, so good job, Gillian. charges with a normal like the kind of kindle adapter I think it is it looks the same size and it's printed by heat so you don't need to buy any ink you just need to buy the papers the papers can be a little bit expensive but I think it's worth it this was 86 pounds and I think we will get a lot of use out of it the second Amazon purchase I'm going to tell you guys about is actually a piece of jewelry this is my conch hoop that I got from Amazon. It came in a pack of three. I had trouble measuring for this conch ring before I got this one so I just got a ruler and measured from where the hole to the end is and kind of took a guess and it was quite good that it came in a pack of three because then I could try the different sizes and it's actually a lot easier than a normal conch hoop because it's just a click in like a say that's the thing it's on a hinge and it just clicks into place so it's easier than trying to screw a ball in. Now this was $7.99 which I think is amazing for a proper hoop. It's not just for your conch so if you do have a couple of piercings you could mix and match different bits of like where you're pierced and it's made from surgical steel which is what you want so that you're not irritating your ear. The third thing is a bit of a funny, wait, this is where it gets random. So when I first got my rabbits, they weren't bonded, so they had to be in separate cages. Now, when I was away at work, I liked to check up on them because I was that kind of bunny mum. And I decided to purchase this little camera. It's called YI Camera. It's got hay on it, surprise, surprise, because it's been in the box for the bunnies. but. This is a little camera device that you can plug in and pop it on. I think I've had it on the floor and you were able to see up, the, up to their cages, but you can also pop it on a table and it records footage from your phone. I'll try and find some footage when I last used it with the rabbits. I don't tend to use it as much anymore because I'm in a lot more than I used to be, but I did find this really handy, just peace of mind while I'm at work, make sure the rabbits are doing okay. It was really handy when Rosie got spayed and I wasn't able to collect her from the vets. Ryan actually had to drop her off, so I just felt a lot better um, being able to actually physically see she was okay. It's got sound as well, so you can speak to your animals through it. I don't think my rabbits really care, but if you had like a dog or something, I think they might respond. It takes pictures as well. I mean, it's not the best quality, but it's really good for uh, the price. Speaking of the price, I will just check how much it was. £25. So I think this is 
quite a good purchase for that. It was easy to set up as well and it's just through a little app on your phone. That image there is of the cage, one of the times that I used it. Number four in my top 10 Amazon purchases is my Brita water filter jug. I don't think in Scotland you really needed to filter your water but when we moved here I noticed our water was quite cloudy. I wasn't too happy drinking the water when it was so cloudy, it just it looked weird to me. So I decided to purchase the Brita filter. Now I think it was pretty expensive. My mum got one at the same time as well. £28.74 each, so pretty expensive but I think it's a lot better for you to drink out that and it's nice and cool out the fridge as well. Strange purchase but I think it's worth it. You also got half a year worth of cartridges with that jug as well I meant to say. Number five, we're staying in the kitchen for this. I ordered these knives in July so almost a year ago and they're still sharp as ever. It's a pack of five iridescent rainbow knives. They match the theme of our cutlery so I thought it would be quite good to have in the kitchen. We had an Amazon voucher for when we moved into the house from Ryan's family so that's what I decided to purchase with it. I think we also got some tea fowl pans as well which are also great but these knives were £24.97 and for a pack of five I think that's a really good purchase to make. There's nothing worse than a blunt knife and I've not had to sharpen them once just yet. I do have a knife sharpener just in case but I think these are decent quality knives. They are titanium nitrate blades, I don't know if that's why they're so sharp but sounds good to me. That was one of the things I was most looking forward to when I moved out was getting colourful knives. <laughs> what a sad life I live. Next, the things I purchased from Amazon that were amazing are these Kyle Gray Oracle cards. These ones are the Angel Prayer cards and these are the original ones that I purchased first, the Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. These are amazing. If you're not into like the law of attraction and like spiritual stuff, you should really look into it. I don't know what else to say, it's amazing. So. I bought these after discovering Kyle Grey and I really resonated with these ones and they're fun to do. What you do is, it's like tarot cards but they're slightly different. You shuffle the cards, spread them out, pick I think seven is it to start with. It comes with this little book that tells you how to do everything but the cards are beautiful and once you've picked all the cards each one means a different thing. You lay them out like that and each one means like your life, uh, an obstacle you've overcame or you need to work on. At the back it explains what each card means and it just it always makes me feel more positive about life. So some of them just look like that. They are so beautifully illustrated as well. I like to do a little deck of cards and it keeps me feeling like I'm on the right path and I think they were about a tenner each. Next we're going to move into my bathroom. These are amazing. Now I think it was Ash Mama Reed that I first saw these from. It's these shampoo, conditioner, body wash dispensers you get. It looks like you're in a fancy hotel but you put them on your wall in the bathroom and they've got little labels you can put on them to, so you know what is what. Um, I've even got one for Ryan up the top above mine. He doesn't need a conditioner one, he's just got shampoo and body wash. So it's great that you can have one for everybody, whether you need two columns or three. You can also get a corner style one, that's what my mum and dad have got in their shower. And yeah, I just think it's so handy instead of having clutter of bottles at the bottom of your shower. Those were, okay, the double, the dual dispenser was 17 99 and the triple dispenser was 18 98 so you just silicone it onto your tiles, so they last a long, long time. I've not had any issues in the year and a bit that we've lived here and I would highly recommend them. Number eight, Tweezer Man tweezers. These are so much better than other cheap tweezers. I went through a phase of losing tweezers left, right and centre so I decided to just get a little cheap pair I think on eBay or Amazon, I can't remember but they were only like £2. Crap. It did not work as well as Tweezerman. I will never go back and use another brand. Tweezerman is where it's at with the eyebrow game. Yes, they are a bit more expensive but they are completely justified in my opinion. 
These are the mini ones that I've got. They are super sharp. They pinch the hair right at the root to get it out. Because these are the mini ones, I find it easier just to get in there, tweeze the brows, and it makes life a lot easier. These were £13. I think full size ones are around £20 and to me it does the same job and it's also more compact if I was travelling so I just prefer the little mini ones. If you've not already tried Tweezer Man tweezers go out and buy some and you'll never look back. The last two things from Amazon are kind of techie things. So the first techie thing is a set of headphones or earphones. They are by the brand Anchor. I'm not fussy about headphone brands, I just wanted a pair of wireless earphones for the gym. They go around like that and they fit nicely in your ear. Because I've got tragus piercings and that rook piercing there, my tragus bar is a bit of a nightmare with headphones usually, so I like the shape of these ones. I don't get along with Apple style headphones at all. These ones clip together like this, I think that's so cool, so that when you're walking around the gym to your next machine it's handy to just to have there you don't need to worry about where your headphones are also with wireless earphones i like the fact that you can have your phone over on the treadmill and you're like able to run without being connected to the phone there's been many a time where my phone has fell off the treadmill and nearly took me out with it so i think this is a great idea the sound is incredible as well and they go up really loud so these were, this is my tripod for the camera that I'm filming on right now actually. It's for my G7X. I think it would fit any camera actually, just as long as it's got the little hole at the bottom to screw on. This was £12.99. It's by iGadgets and it's just a little tripod that you can vlog with. You can spread the little legs out to make it stands on a table which I find handy when I'm filming for like when I'm away on tour or something and it also has a little level thing which is helpful. It's a lot easier to carry around your camera with this on it than trying to vlog with just the camera. You can get a better angle and you can hold it like that, it's quite comfy. I went on tour with this, I don't know, did I say in the vlogs? I don't know if I said in the Yumi at 6 tour last year, I managed to get this in most of the venues. There was one venue in Glasgow that um, they wouldn't let me take it in because they said it would be a weapon. But never mind, I managed to get it in all the other ones and it was easier when you're filming the band and holding it up like that if you're a little shorty like me. I didn't realise I was still wearing these earphones. Anyway guys, that is the end of my Amazon top 10 purchases. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below if there's anything that you recommend that I need in my life from Amazon. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh,